Hey, what's up? It's your boy Willie Chin. Today I'm gonna show you how I made this track system for my lights, my video lights. They're mounted to the ceiling. This build is inspired by this video I found on YouTube by this guy. So these systems can run you a pretty penny. The system I built and put together, the track alone is gonna cost you around 150 to install. And depending on what you're using to mount your lights, that's gonna push up the cost a little bit more. Quick disclaimer, I just wanna say, mount at your own risk. It is in the ceiling. You don't want it to fall down, so just be careful and be safe. You don't want your equipment to fall either, so just be careful and be safe. All right, so the perks of having this system in your room, you're no longer tripping over light stands and it makes it super simple and saves you a lot of time setting up your scenes. Especially since I'm using this with my one stand studio, I have my camera on wheels and I could just wheel my camera around, adjust the lights accordingly, I'm good to go within minutes. So I'll leave a link in the description below for all the items I've used for this project. All right, now let me show you how I put everything together. First off, you want to find a stud in the ceiling because you don't want this thing to fall off and drop in your head. You're going to want to mount two rails to your ceiling. It depends on the size of your room how far you're going to space it out. I do recommend when you're putting up the steel rails, the struts, make sure you're perpendicular to the beams in the ceiling. So the weight of it is going to be distributed across multiple studs instead of just one stud. Next, you have to drill holes into the steel rail. And I used deck screws instead of a bolt and washer. I had to learn the hard way. The trolley wheels were getting stuck onto the bolt and washer. And since I was working alone, I got creative. I used a light stand with my Manfrotto super clamp so I could hold it in place, make my pilot holes, and mount it to the ceiling. Now your third rail is gonna be your moving rail. You're gonna mount a trolley wheel to each end. And this is gonna slide into the two rails you mounted previously. Now let's make our pantograph. On Amazon, this is called a lazy tong pop riveter so I basically drilled a hole at the top so I can mount the trolley wheels and I wanted the ability to have this retractable so I added a spring balancer next I drilled two additional holes to mount my spring balancer the weight of my lights were a little bit too heavy so I had to add a second spring balancer you may have to adjust the tension on it for it to work properly. The spigot adapter used to mount the light fits perfectly into the riveter. Here's another option for mounting your lights if you don't need a retractable system. I attach this Manfrotto rapid adapter to my trolley wheels and this works great too. After testing it out, this next part is optional. I added some additional wheels. I found these one inch caster wheels on Amazon. I just screwed it to a piece of wood and mounted that to my rail. This is just gonna keep your beam a little bit more stable when you're moving it back and forth. Lastly, slide in your trolley wheels and secure with a clamp on the end. So final thoughts for this project. I'm loving it. I'm not tripping over wires. I did have a little difficulty putting it together, putting it up. So I do recommend if you have somebody to help you with this build, please invite them to help you. But once it's up and running, it's gonna make your life so much easier. All right, I hope this video was helpful for you. My name is Willie Chin. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Mod.